No. Mira lo, lo grande allá Mira un grande de... Ellos no tienen miedo, mira. Mira se... cómo está la gente en la orilla del lago, en el estado. Sí. Now why I look like put a fucking snooky bump? Why? Ignore that. I clipped my hair and all of a sudden at night so it's out of the way because even with the AC on child, I'd be sweating. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Um yeah, I woke up with a fucking snooky bump. And a little makeup still on my brows. I don't mind the background. There's a bunch of stuff hung up. There's a bunch of stuff piled up here because I have nowhere else to put them. There's a bra and that's a towel over the uh, curtain hanger situation so that the sun doesn't come in and let more light into the room in the morning. Uh, yeah, it's Monday. I don't have much going on today. I'm going to try to uh, do laundry yeah you see i still had makeup on to cover the, the atrocity that is my brows right now yeah um I'm just gonna wipe my whole face because why not? I'm not gonna waste a wipe just on my brows. Um, but yeah, I don't have much going on today. I think I'm just gonna do laundry and take care of myself. I may go to the bank. And I might also go if the light keeps coming on and off, it's because YouTube's on and I paused it. So, um, yeah, so I might go to the bank and then I might go to, um, Home Depot to buy some blinds for this room because I'm kind of over this drape mess and, and the fucking towel on top. It just looks a hot mess. Um, I'm kind of overseeing it. So I might go buy some blinds for um the window so that we don't have that ghetto situation happening uh but yeah it's a fun day i'll take you with me today and show you if i do anything interesting with my snooky mom <sighs> let me take this down child i look crazy and of course the fucking clip is lost in this bump. Like.
cat. All the curls fell. All of them. All of them. I curled my hair out yesterday while I was um, at the wedding we were doing in Peabody. It was a Cambodian Khmer ceremony. And I had nothing else to do but to straighten slash curl my hair while the procession slash ceremony was going on. So I did just that. That way my hair is done for the week. For the most part, I do have to fix it with the blow dryer because it's a little, you know, not perfect. Um, I might be filming a video that was supposed to go out last month, uh, this week. So I'm glad that my hair is done. And this is the hair I'll be wearing this weekend as well because I am not finna do my hair again and put more heat on it. So, yeah. See you later. Eating Chipotle. Waiting for Nikki and Corey. Um, I'm trying to tear up this Chipotle. I'm probably gonna end up in the bathroom at home, but baby, who cares? I said I was gonna be a slut this summer, but these men are just already driving me nuts. I don't wanna save any of that for later. <laughs> Let me put that music down that way. I don't get copy written. I don't need any of those strikes. Darling! So yeah, we just went to T-Mobile. Corey got his phone, switched over. So now I'm at Verizon by myself. Um, I'm gonna end up doing the switcheroo at some point. I just don't know when because I wanna be able to pay the, like buy the phone off of them completely. And uh, I want my bill to be low, you know? So yeah, we're just gonna wait on that for now and then see what we can do. my chicken bake and a drink have to when you come here hey y'all it is another day um it is thursday may 30th and i am out running errands grabbing a coffee because i desperately need it i cannot believe that this month is already technically over and we're already in june we're halfway through the year already literally in the blink of an eye it's gonna be christmas i'm gagging but yeah where the hell is the time going it's literally flying by literally flying by so i've made it a point that i think i need to do more before this year is over thank you so much you too Girl, I did not need to get that big of a drink. I don't know why I did that. All right. Um, so yeah, I grabbed my coffee and I am literally on my way to um, Market Basket in Salem, New Hampshire because I need some things. We need some grub in our house. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm just running errands today. I need some personal things as well. Um, it's another day. It's another day. So I wanted to like touch on the fact that people keep commenting negative stuff. And I understand it comes with the territory, right? You're on YouTube. You're putting your life on there. You're putting your business on there. It comes with the territory. If you put your life on display, so to speak, 
you open up the floodgates for anybody to comment and, and say whatever they want to say about you in your life. But yeah, no, like certain people expect you to take that disrespect and then respond positively or respond either way. And it's like, no, no. You do not get to tell me how to respond to disrespect, right? You don't get to tell me how to react to somebody being rude and blatantly disrespectful to me. You don't get to do it. I don't care who the fuck you are. I don't care who you think you are. I don't care how old you are. I don't care if you feel like your your opinion needs to be respected. I don't give a I don't give a shit about any of that. You can take all of that and throw it into the trash. I don't give a shit. I don't. If like I said to somebody who commented on one of my videos, baby, you leave shit on my doorstep and I'm going to return to sender so quick it'll make your head spin. Literally. Don't play with me. Yes, I put my business and my life on display for YouTube, but it's not for you to be disrespectful. It's not for you to be disrespectful at all. I will match your energy, like I said in my last video. You can't you can't blame the victim, really, because I'm a victim in this, right? If you're commenting negatively and being a rude, and then I respond in a nasty way, and I respond in a disrespectful way, that's earned, right? Right? Treat others how you want to be treated. It's simple math. It really is. Be nice, be respectful, and I'll answer your questions if they're respectful. I'll answer your questions, I'll, you know, engage with you, so on and so forth. But if you're going to be just blatantly disrespectful, you're in for a rude awakening with me. Because I do not tolerate disrespect. I don't disrespect anybody, so I don't expect it done to me. Period. And end of story. But yeah, no, like I was saying, like, I just don't like disrespect. And if you are going to come on my page, my channel, my comment section with disrespect, I'm going to meet you there. Okay? Um, Part of me doesn't want to do that because I feel like if I engage in negativity, then negativity is going to surround me and negativity is going to hover over me and a lot of people love to live in negativity and they are miserable right so the only form of i guess happiness or entertainment that they have is bringing people down with them right bringing people into that negativity or that negative space or that misery um that's the only form of entertainment or happiness that they have right they 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 get off by doing that stuff so I feel like at certain times when you respond to that stuff or or, or or you try to go toe to toe with somebody who's being negative with you, you allow them to bring you into that space. So um, I don't know, like lately I've been feeling like maybe I shouldn't be responding. Maybe I shouldn't be even be like giving these people the time of day. I should just remove their comments and keep them from seeing my page. Maybe I should do that. Uh, because I feel like once you allow people to bring you into a negative space, that negative, that, that negative cloud, that black cloud lingers and it could affect your day to day, right? It could affect what you're trying to do with your life, your goals, whatever. So, I don't know. That's just something I've been thinking about. But at the same time, it's like, 
I don't know. Like, I don't want people playing with me. And I need to let them know exactly who I am. And that I'm not going to tolerate bullshit. Like, you're gonna, if you're going to come into my space with that kind of negativity, then I'm going to meet you there. Or I'm going to cuss you out and then remove you and then keep you from seeing my stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, honestly, like, I don't want that negative stuff around me. I don't want you commenting negative stuff. But as I said before, it comes with the territory. And I also don't feel like I should have to explain myself. Like I'm doing right now, because it's like the disrespect is there. It's visible for everybody to see. It's clear as day. Um, but I feel like I needed to come on here and kind of say something and, and, you know, speak my piece. I'm going to try to not be as combative with uh, those negative people and their negative comments. But I'm only human, you know. And, you know, I, I, I just don't play about disrespect. I really don't. Because I'm a really, really nice person. I'm really, really loving. I don't disrespect people. I just don't do it. So, I don't want it done to me. And on that note, let's go shopping. There you go. I'm at home since looking at furniture. So I want something to sit down on. This is so cute. I love the print and it spins. Yeah, this is so cute at this price. $55, not bad. And the legs are like wood. I've been needing something like this to just sit down on when I'm doing my hair or my makeup because I don't have a seat in my bedroom. That's so cute. I love that one. That white one. White gray. I love this store so much. So pretty. Mary Mac River. Hi. <laughs> time out uh, for Pat's birthday. I planned that dinner as you saw at the Mexican restaurant at Casablanca. We've been there before and the food was exceptional. The service was exceptional. But tonight, it was a little different. Like it was like, ooh, ooh, ooh. I know it wasn't good. The food came out cold and yeah, it was upsetting to say the least. 
and then we didn't end up going bowling because Pat wasn't feeling good, which is understandable. But, you know, me and Brittany and Kelly plan the night, so I wanted everything to happen according to plan. But sometimes that's life. You know, you make plans and God laughs in your face and other things happen. So, um, yeah, I did my part and I'm happy we went out um, in celebration of him. I love him to death. I'm gonna heat my cold burrito up and see what it's taking for. Tomorrow I gotta work a wedding and the next day we will be out to Philly. So I will see y'all in the next vlog. This weather shirt. Isn't it cool? Yes. But can you put it other way up so that I can see? What do you wanna see? A pyre. A pyre? Yeah. Okay. A little bit higher. Oh is, my goodness. This is all the way, but you can bend it. Yeah, but and you I still, see it. You, Look at that. You still like see this. yourself. You go like yeah. this. Go like this. Go like this. It's me and Louie. Say bye.